so that's why i don't prefer c because it gives a very big code it's very difficult to debug and also it consumes time like if you're writing a big code it will definitely take time so i don't prefer c now moving on to the technical preparation so this was all about resume so basically this is the first stage which will actually uh, take you to the next steps and which are the critical ones so how do you prepare so i am assuming there are some people who know stuff there might be some freshers i saw that there was someone from first year also so if you are very very new then what you can do is basically choose one coding language any one of these um i have written c++ first because that's my preference that's my personal bias you can select c++ java or python i won't say c the reason being um there's not a lot that you can do with c directly you have to write functions for each and everything if you want to use a stack you will have to write the entire code for stack basically implementing it using array or linked list so that's why i don't prefer c because it gives a very big code it's very difficult to debug and also it consumes time like if you're writing a big code it will definitely take time so i don't prefer c so i would suggest maybe go for c++ java or python then learn all the data structures in that so if you're choosing c++ learn stl and learn whatever uh, data structures are there once you have this knowledge then move on to dsa that is basically starting off with time complexity then arrays then strings what i mean by taking each topic one by one let's first say you started off with time complexity you understood all the notations o um, omega theta all these notations you understood and you solved a few questions also then you move on to arrays again so whatever some concepts are there in arrays there are not much but whatever concepts are there you understood those and now started practicing questions start off with the easy level questions then go to the medium and then go to hard once you feel you're confident at uh, arrays then move to strings then move to binary search and so on so what i did when i was preparing for google uh, i knew that my um, my interview is scheduled to like after 2 months i knew that so what i did was i started off with arrays i already knew c++ pretty well so what i did was took 3 days for arrays did lot of questions then went to strings then to binary search and so on and i knew i was not very very good at graphs and dynamic programming that was what i already knew because i had given a few mock interviews and i got the feedback as well so what i did was i spent one one week one week on graphs and one week on dynamic programming and that actually helped me in basically getting those topics pretty well and the second thing was it also increased my confidence because i covered the weak areas i was able to conquer them and now i felt that yes i am good in dsa okay yeah so that's good so i've written time complexity it's basically time and space complexity yeah thank you for pointing out okay so this was about basically the technical things that you need to know again you have to be very very good in dsa uh it's not the only thing uh, there are other fun computer fundamentals also that you need to know like object oriented programming then database management system then you have operating systems then you have computer networks uh, i would say if i have to give the prep, like the order in which they are important i would say object oriented programming is the most important followed by operating system then dbms and then computer networks even if you don't know dbms Uh, it's fine even if you don't know computer networks it's fine but then don't put it in your resume so basically dsa is the most most important especially if you're targeting some big companies dsa you cannot go without dsa you can probably go without object oriented programming operating system that's fine but you cannot go without dsa so you have to be proficient in dsa followed by object oriented programming third i would say operating system fourth computer networks and fifth dbms Uh, fourth is computer networks and fifth is dbms again if you don't know the last two or three it's fine it's fine just don't put it in your resume but yes if you have time then please do it can we get hired only because of our ai ml or dl skills um 
now by ai or ml i'm assuming you know a lot of algorithms there like linear regression logistic regression decision trees random forest all those things you know so you can get a data analytics or a data science role getting a software development role only on the basis of your ai or ml or maybe python also you would be knowing might be very difficult 